Hey my creators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and this is Christy Creates. And if you're not new, welcome back. Here's our first project we're gonna work on today and it's this cute little I Love Us sign that holds your photos. It was $39.99 at Hobby Lobby. So we are gonna take a couple of these hearts from Dollar Tree and we are going to remove the little hangers from the top. Once we get those hangers out, then I'm going to fill in the holes that are at the top and I'm going to do that with hot glue. You could use some wood like spackle from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I guess first I'm going to remove this, this piece. Getting a little ahead of myself there, aren't I? That just popped off really easy with that little flat tool that I have there. And then I'm going to save that for later just in case I ever need something like that. And I flip that heart over. And then now we're going to fill in the holes with hot glue. Um, I just took just an old, um, I think that was like a gift card. And I held it on the back side so that the glue wouldn't fall through. And then I took it on the front side and scraped it over the hole so that it was nice and flat. And I did that on all of the holes. And if you find that it's like sunken in, you can go back with a little bit more hot glue over that same area. Now I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm going to give both of these hearts the white paint. The original was a stained wood, but like I said, the Chic for Cheap is just kind of your own rendition of what you found that you liked. You paint it or change it up to make it match your decor, the style of your home. So I really wanted mine to be white. Um, so if you wanted to make this piece and you could always, you know, stain a piece of wood or paint this to look like wood but I just really wanted mine to be white with a like a shiplap effect to it so we're gonna paint it white I do um, have to use two coats of the white and that was just because I wanted it to be really good and covered I didn't want any of the wood showing through at all um, because for once I wasn't going to distress something <laughs> I know surprise surprise right Then once I get these both painted with two coats and make sure to do the edges as well, I take my blow dryer on a low setting and that'll keep your paint from like crackling or splitting and you can dry it on a cool setting and get it dried really quickly. Now I'm going to go in and make my shiplap lines and I'm just taking just a straight edge of some sort. I started off with this ruler and it was working just fine, but then I was like, wait, I want wider planks for my wood shiplap look. So I did come back in with, um, it's like a quilting ruler, and that way I could make the lines very evenly spaced. Here I was trying to figure out, I'm like, wait, I don't want them to be this small, so do I just need to measure it, or, and so I'm thinking. You can always tell when I'm like wiggling my fingers <laughs> that I'm thinking. Usually I speed through this, but I just kind of wanted you guys to be able to see my thought process and that everything's not as quick as it always seems when you watch these YouTube videos. Most of the things are sped through. So here I'm like, hmm, what could I use to make my lines wider? And then I remembered I had this ruler. so. This was perfect. I think this is, if I remember correctly, three inches wide. So that's how far apart each of my lines will be. And again, that is personal preference. And once I get my lines drawn on, that was just with a pencil, I take my finger and I just kind of rub across it. And it just kind of gives that diffused look that there is a shiplap type line there. That's a super simple way to give yourself that faux finish. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other heart as well. And I did kind of speed this up so you didn't have to watch it in slow motion. And again, I'm just going over that pencil mark with my finger and it just kind of distresses it just enough that there's a hint of a line there, but it's not like a super harsh line. And then here I'm going to kind of lay them out and try to decide. I was going to originally put them exactly like the one that I showed you the picture of, but after I played around with it for a little bit, I was like, I don't know, I don't, I think since I painted them white, it was kind of losing that second heart shape because it was over the top of the other white. Then I also couldn't decide if I wanted the lines to match up or if I wanted them to sit, you know, opposite of each other or straight across. So here I just left that in there where I was kind of playing with that. Now I'm going to take these little clips off of these extra little uh, picture frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think you can buy these little clips, but I haven't been able to find any. I've been looking for some for a little while. So I just used, like I said, I had a couple of those extra picture frames, so I took those off of there. Now I'm putting some wood glue and then also some hot glue and connecting my hearts. As you see, I went with, I wanted the lines to be going in the same direction, but not meeting up with each other. Then I'm going to put some weight I do go on the back and just kind of add a little bit of extra hot glue. And then I'm going to put some weight on there and let that sit for a couple of hours and dry. I'm going to go in with my ink chalk, chalk paint. And I'm going to paint those little clips. I didn't want them to be silver. I wanted them to be black since I am going to be putting a decal on here that is black. I wanted that to kind of all go together. And that matches the decor of the room that I'll be putting this in. So I just kind of gave it a coat and then I decided it needed a little bit more. So I did go in with a second light coat on the black paint. Just make sure you're kind of getting all of the edges because you will kind of be able to see those edges. Then once you finish painting those, I'm going to take my Arteza vinyl. This is just a 50 pack of 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl and it is matte vinyl and I cut out a little saying with my Cricut. You could also use stickers from the Dollar Tree. I just didn't have any stickers on hand right now so I just cut out a decal and I'm using some clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree as my transfer tape. That's what I always use and then I'm going to show you a little trick here which I think I showed you last time I stick the transfer tape or contact paper to my shirt just to make it less sticky and that way you don't have as much of a problem with your decal pulling up from the wood and that has always helped me it's sticky enough to help it stick but it's not sticky enough to like hold it you know hold on to it so it pulls back off Now I'm going to take my little clips and I'm just kind of playing with the placement on those as well. I was trying to decide where I wanted them and I put that one up a little bit higher just so I could put a larger picture there and then same with this one. I kind of scooted it up and over so I could put a little bit bigger picture there and then once I get those on I'm going to flip it over and just use some jute twine to make a little hanger. You could do this however you want. You could put one long string across both. You could put a string at the top with some wood beads. You know, you could even just put it up with some command strips. However is the easiest for you. This was just what I chose to do, but you know, do whatever's easiest for you. And 
And here I'm kind of showing you like you could put a hanger from each side of the heart or all the way over to the other side. How cute. Don't tell my hubby, but I'm going to give him this for Valentine's Day. You guys. I'm going to love seeing this hanging in my home every day. I can't wait to give it to him. What do you think? Do you like the white or would you have left it stained? I also wanted to tell you guys that I am starting a new channel and this channel is just kind of a second love of mine which is makeup. And if you don't notice from every time I make a video, I always try to do a cute makeup look. It's just what I love to do. I don't do it because I'm trying to make myself look better for anybody. It's just really fun for me. So if you love makeup too, make sure to check out Christy Creates Beauty on Instagram and on YouTube. Thanks so much for checking out the Chic for Cheap craft challenge this month. My co-host is Crafting with Cass, so be sure after you check out my video that you go over and see what she created for you. Thanks so much for being my co-host this month, sweetheart. I also wanted to hop in real quick and show you guys. My shirt is very Valentine theme with the red and the pink. Look at the elbows, you guys. Is this not so cute? So this next one is super simple, but it was so cute. So I thought I would create my own little spin on it. I had this adorable little box that I had found at the Target dollar spot, I believe. Uh, it actually may have been Walmart. I can't remember, one or the other in their little dollar section. And it was so cute and I couldn't figure out what I was gonna do with it because I wanted to create something. Well, then I found this little bird at Hobby Lobby and he was only $2 and the box was $3 and the $2 bird was also 40% off. So he was like just a little over a dollar. So I took my Total Tech all in one. It's from the original super glue. It's just called Total Tech. I don't really know. It's kind of like a super glue, but it works amazing. If you don't have it, you need to get you some. And I put some on the bottom and I kind of left a little bit of room for some hot glue. That way it could kind of hold it on while the other glue is drying. And this was like a super simple spin on this. Just a little bit of glue. But you guys, how cute is that? So simple. The original was $14.99 and this one was less than $5. Plus, mine has a little hidey hole that you can put stuff in. What do you think? Thank you guys so much for stopping by today for the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. Make sure that after you leave here, before you leave, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out the playlist down below to see everybody's awesome creations. And make sure that you let them know that I sent you. And if you're new, introduce yourself. I would love to say hello. Bye guys, see you next time.